Welcome to Horror Square. Our channel is dedicated to sharing spine-chilling and terrifying stories. All the stories presented on Horror Square are works of fiction. They are created for entertainment purposes only and should not be interpreted as real-life events or experiences. Horror Square may explore psychological themes that can evoke fear, anxiety, or discomfort. If you are sensitive to such contents, we recommend avoiding our channel or proceeding with caution to fully enjoy our contents. We encourage suspending disbelief and embracing the atmosphere of horror. Remember that the events and characters depicted are purely fictional and not intended to represent reality. We hope you enjoy our contents responsibly and in the spirit of immersive storytelling. Hello, dear friends. Welcome to Horror Square. I hope you are fine and aware of our disclaimer. Today's story is Nightmare. In order to inform dear listener friends, if any one of you wants to share your story or any spiritual experience, then you can send it through mail. Our mail ID is horrorsquare555 at the rate gmail.com. So, let's get started. In the darkness of the night, Lionel Rome sat alone in his dimly lit apartment, his tormented mind a battleground of conflicting emotions. The events of that fateful day, played on loop in his thoughts, each detail etched, into his memory, like a cruel engraving. The innocent boy's lifeless gaze, haunted him, a constant reminder of the irreversible mistake, he had made. Guilt, heavy and suffocating, settled over him, like a shroud, its weight pressing down, on his shoulders, until it felt as though he might crumble beneath it. The realization that, his actions, had led to an innocent life, being cut short nor that his conscience, and the ache, in his heart was a constant reminder, of his responsibility. Seeking solace, from the turmoil within, Lionel closed his eyes, and let out a shaky breath. The room, around him, seemed to fade away, as he attempted to find respite, from the overwhelming emotions, that threatened to consume him. He longed for a moment of relief, a brief escape from the torment that had become his constant companion. In the darkness, behind closed eyelids, fragmented memories danced like spectres. He saw the boy's face once again, full of innocence, curiosity, and life, and the realization that he had forever extinguished that light haunted him. His hands clenched into fists, his nails biting into his palms, as a surge of sorrow coursed through him. Lionel's hope for a reprieve from his thoughts was fervent as he shut out the world around him. He yearned to silence the accusing voices within to find a fleeting moment where the weight of his guilt could be lifted, even if only temporarily. And so, in the stillness of that night, he held on to the fragile hope that sleep might grant him a brief respite from the relentless grip of his overwhelming emotions. As Lionel Rome's exhausted mind finally succumbed to the heavy pull of sleep, he embarked on a journey into a realm of eerie uncertainty. The transition was seamless yet disorienting, like stepping into a shadowy dimension that existed on the fringes of reality. The once familiar walls of his apartment dissolved, replaced by the dense expanse of an otherworldly forest. Tall, gnarled trees stretched their skeletal branches towards the heavens, their leaves casting twisted silhouettes on the ground below. The air was thick with a palpable foreboding, and the silence was so profound that it seemed to hum with an unnatural energy. As Lionel ventured deeper into the heart of this surreal landscape, the distant murmur of running water reached his ears, beckoning him to its source. With each step he took, a chill ran down his spine, his heart quickening its pace, as if anticipating an impending confrontation. The riverbank emerged from the gloom, the moon's feeble light casting elongated shadows across the rocky shore. And there, bathed in the eerie glow, floated a sight that sent a shockwave of terror through Lionel's being, a severed head, bobbing in the water, its lips curled into a malevolent grin. A surreal, mocking laughter emanated from the head, its sound cutting through the stillness like a knife. The laughter echoed and reverberated through the twisted trees, creating an unsettling symphony 
that seemed to seep into his very bones. Lionel's heart raced, and an instinctual fear urged his hand towards the familiar weight of his sidearm. His fingers closed around the grip of the gun, the cold metal offering a semblance of reassurance in the midst of this nightmare. The weight of his guilt had now fused with a newfound determination to protect himself from whatever malevolent force was at play. With unsteady hands, he raised the gun and took aim at the grotesque head, his finger trembling on the trigger. But when he squeezed that trigger, instead of the expected explosion, a deafening click resonated through the air, shattering the fragile calm. Panic surged through him like an electric shock, his heart pounding against his ribcage. The realization that the gun had failed him in this twisted realm magnified his vulnerability, crumbling his very sense of control. The head's laughter continued, growing louder and more disturbing with each passing moment. It drew closer, an unseen tide guiding its unsettling approach. Lionel's attempts to flee were met with an invisible force, a barrier that held him in place like a vice. Desperation fueled his struggles, each movement a testament to his fight against the ethereal restraints that bound him. His body was weak and trembling, and Lionel's resolve waned as his strength dwindled. A final surge of effort propelled him forward, his legs carrying him only a few paces before buckling beneath him. He collapsed onto the forest floor, his chest heaving with exhaustion and fear. The grotesque head, its features twisted into an expression of malevolence, settled on his chest like a sinister crown. Its laughter transformed into a haunting melody, a chilling symphony that seemed to merge with the very heartbeat of the night. Despair threatened to consume him, the weight of the head and the malevolent laughter suffocating his senses. Just as darkness closed in, as if to claim him entirely, a sudden surge of awareness jolted through his body. With a wrenching sensation, Lionel was torn from the depths of his nightmare, his body drenched in sweat, his breath ragged. The real world reasserted itself, the remnants of the haunting forest fading like a ghostly memory. He was back in his own bed, the echoes of the surreal encounter lingering in his mind like a whispered warning from the abyss. Gasping for air, Lionel Rome emerged from the clutches of his tormenting dream, his senses in disarray, as he grappled to distinguish the borders of reality from the haunting nightmare. His body was drenched in a cold sweat, and the sheets tangled around him as if they had borne witness to the struggle within his mind. Every breath he took was a desperate attempt to cleanse his lungs of the suffocating tendrils of fear that had gripped him. Tremors coursed through his body like ripples in a pond, his muscles twitching as the remnants of his ordeal still held him in their grasp. The memory of the chilling encounter in the dream clung to him, as persistent as the darkness that lingered in the corners of his room. The sensation of dread remained palpable, as if the forest, the river, and the malevolent head were still lurking just beyond the realm of sight. As reality slowly reasserted itself, Lionel's racing heartbeat began to synchronize with the rhythm of the outside world. He blinked against the dim light, filtering through his window, his eyes adjusting to the transition from the realm of nightmares to the safety of his own bedroom. The twisted vision of that forest, the head, and the laughter still danced at the edge of his consciousness, fragments of a surreal tapestry woven from his own psyche. With a heavy exhale, he pushed himself upright, his fingers trembling as they found their grip on the edge of the bed. A shiver coursed down his spine as he let the weight of the dream settle in his mind. It was a realization, as chilling as the nightmare itself, his subconscious had woven a tale, a nightmarish parable, that interconnected his guilt with the darkest recesses of his fears. The first rays of dawn filtered through the window, painting the room a soft, golden hue. 
The transition, from night to day, felt like the emergence from a different kind of darkness, a shift, from the torment of his dream, to the clarity of a new beginning. As the room, filled with light, Lionel's heart, began to steady its pace, the cadence of his breath, finding a more natural rhythm. The nightmare, he understood, was a manifestation of the turmoil, he carried within himself. A haunting reflection, of his guilt and fears, a surreal theatre, where his subconscious had staged a performance, that had shaken him, to his core. With the new day's light, filtering through the window, he made a silent promise to himself. To find a way to make amends, to honour the memory, of the innocent boy, and to ease the pain, that had haunted both his waking hours, and his restless sleep. With determination, ignited in his chest, Lionel's gaze, shifted from the window to the path that lay ahead. The nightmare, had acted as a catalyst, a jolt to his conscience, that compelled him, to confront the shadows within him. As he pushed back the covers, and placed his feet on the floor, he took his first steps, toward a new dawn, one where redemption, and healing were his guiding stars. Thank you for watching the video. Please don't forget to let us know how you liked today's story in the comments. And if you enjoyed the story, like and share it, and quickly click the subscribe button on our channel with the bell icon turned on for notifications. However, for today, it's bye-bye, and we'll see you again in the next video, thank you take care, tata.